Good morning everyone, happy Sunday. I'm starting a new vlog. I'm currently in front of my computer editing the vlog um, that I'll be posting today, so the last week's vlog. And then I wanna film a video, like a main channel video. I actually have uh, two unboxings to do. So I have the Dior unboxing and also the Hermes unboxing that I never got around to uh, filming. And those videos, um, that video actually, one video, it's the two unboxings together. Um, it will go live on the second and then I have uh, the weekly vlog on Sunday, the fifth and then on the ninth. I have the spring summer trends um, video that I have already filmed. I just have to uh, make the edits and then it's the vlog as usual on Sunday. And then I have other videos planned. But I have to film that video. I have to iron as well because there is a lot of clothes that need to be ironed. Um, baby Adele is sleeping. And so yeah, it's a fun, productive Sunday. <laughs> potato is all ready and now I'm doing this chicken meatballs here's what's left and I fry them each side three minutes and the heat is on number seven out of nine also I know how gross this looks it's um, the oil um, but not to leave any stains because uh, um, if you don't wash it on time um, they're gonna stick and then it will be impossible to remove uh, this layer of um, oil so i would suggest it's like a little tip uh, wash it right after you finish cooking and this way it will go off very easily otherwise it's gonna take some time so now um, while it's still hot and liquidish um, is the perfect time to clean up About to start filming finally i did my makeup this morning to film a new video um hoping that i would be able to do it during the daylight <laughs> but it is now 8 30 i just put adele to sleep and uh, it's finally time i just had so much to do um i had to iron all of the clothes which i did mm, i had to cook and uh, you saw me doing that as well it was delicious by the way i had to finish editing the vlog i had to post it i had to spend time with my baby take care of her we bathed her today and uh, it was just a lot of things i don't even remember what else i did oh i remember i actually did um uh, i watched the one uh, lesson uh from my course the visuals and aesthetics course the lesson was so much fun but now i need the assignments to do as well um that's fun as well. So we're going to drink some tea now and then um, I'll start filming the video. But my makeup's done, my hair is done, whatever. I just need to get my earrings and um, I'll be ready to film. So the video is about our mess and your unboxing. Thinking of, I don't know, changing slightly the format of my videos. I don't know. We'll see. I haven't really thought this through yet. Um, so I'll just go with the flow. And um, that's the plan. I want to finish editing that video as well, um, so I have it ready for next Thursday. Mm, and I really need to go to sleep earlier today because I have a doctor's appointment at 8.40. It's about my breasts, but they're doing so much better. They're all healed now, like new. <laughs> I'm super excited and so happy um, that the horror, that the uh, nightmare is finally over. <music> Good morning everyone, it is a Monday, 
that I'm going to the hospital. I have an appointment now. I honestly so didn't want to go, uh, but I couldn't cancel it because it was the weekend. Uh, so I guess I have to now. I'm back home now. Um, I put Adele to sleep. Um, my husband had to go. And, um, you know, Adele is... Uh, she's becoming so different already i mean her face changes so much and she's growing so fast i feel like and now every time she sees me or my husband she starts smiling and it's just the cutest thing ever but anyway i'm now in the kitchen i was um, unloading the dishwasher and we also received the power meals um food uh for five days of the week and then we take a break during the weekend or i cook myself like um, i did yesterday for example but this week's menu looked really yum so i'm very excited uh to start it today my husband has his own uh, menu i have my own menu uh the only downside is um that uh, before when we first tried power meals a few years ago the portions were amazing they were very very filling and everything now the food is really good it's still uh, pretty delicious but the portions have become so small still feel um kind of hungry so we take two servings per day so we eat uh, i cook breakfast every morning and then we have lunch and dinner and it's just not enough um so it, well it depends on the dish as well if there is no meat if it's something vegetarian then um it's not filling at all <laughs> and we have to eat something else as well like a soup or something uh, a salad i feel like two times also is not enough we need three because we wake up so early and then we go to bed at around 11 12 and we wake up at like seven now um so three like eating three times a day is really not enough <laughs> and i think next time we have to order more soups or we have to get uh, more um proper dishes like this one um, but price wise i feel like they are also pretty affordable compared to uber eats for example on uber eats um we order junk food only because um, there is not a lot of good restaurants and if there are they take ages you know to cook the food and to bring it here and then it's all cold and it's just not um, as good and as tasty and still very very expensive mm, with power meals one plate like this is uh, um, around 13 to 15 Swiss francs, depending on the um, type of uh, dish, uh, so a vegetarian or non-vegetarian with some meat or fish, for example. But I would say the average price per dish is around 14, 15 Swiss francs, which in my opinion is such a good price because usually when we um, get Uber Eats, for example, even things like um burger king we order for two of us uh one time is like 40 francs which is a lot in my opinion uh for burger king and we also stay healthy all of the the dishes are um pretty well balanced super excited to start this week <laughs> i'm gonna put everything in the fridge and then i'm gonna go edit the video that i filmed yesterday and uh yeah finished lunch and baby a is sleeping right next to me so i gotta be super quiet but um i was just reading the comments on my last vlog and thank you guys so much for your support and all the love and yes i know haters are super annoying but um you know i don't know just threatening stuff is uh way over the top and uh, um I'm just glad that it's just that one person um, who is a bit crazy and uh, um, the rest of you are super supportive and uh, super amazing so thank you thank you thank you so much for that and um, my husband is now vacuuming the apartment um, the cleaning lady was supposed to come today uh, but she got sick and she was like well i know you have a baby it's not like i have temperature um would you still want me to come <laughs> we're like no sorry <laughs> maybe next time and uh, my dad is coming on wednesday that i never mentioned here and um, everything has to be clean because he's a clean freak he hates when it's messy so yeah our cleaning lady got sick at the worst timing ever because <laughs> with uh, adele 
and with all the work and everything it's hard to balance so we wanted to uh, maybe call another agency that can send us someone for just uh, one time um, but it's a bit too late now because uh, it's a monday and uh, my dad is coming on wednesday already but i don't know we'll see hopefully we'll manage to do everything ourselves <laughs> Also, I cannot wait to start editing the video, um, their mess and your unboxing. I'm just so excited about new clothes, you know. Um, I've been buying a lot of bags and shoes in the past and um, I mean, I always do buy a lot of shoes and bags. Um, there is another bag coming very soon, so I'll do an unboxing next week, but it's a bag that um, I also wanted for... I can't say a long time it hasn't been a long time but uh, i've been obsessed with it for the past uh, two three months and um yes i'm just so excited to share it with you guys but i'm now more excited to um to buy you know new ready to wear pieces i know i'm not in the best shape possible right now but i really don't want this to stop me now from uh, buying pretty things if i want to because i know in the future i'll be for sure able to alter all of them and still enjoy wearing them uh, so that's um, not a biggie but i just really missed regular clothes during pregnancy i just really missed um, looking like myself and uh, right now i don't really fit in most of the stuff that i have um and that makes me feel so sad that's why i'm like you know ordering power meals and trying to stay healthy and get back in shape um i'm not like rushing it too too much but hopefully by summer um i'll be close close to the weight I used to be, to the figure that I used to be um, pre-pregnancy, so we'll see. But uh, yes, I'm just so excited to share new ready-to-wear pieces with you. I'm just so excited to start wearing them. On my way to Pilates. It's on the fifth floor and there is no elevator. I'm dying. That's already like a proper exercise. <sighs> Good morning, happy Tuesday. I wanted to show you the Superfood Air Whip Moisture Cream uh, with kale and spinach. It's a very cool one. I've started using it. It's one of the products from uh, my um, calendar, the advent calendar. The only thing with this uh, cream is that I find it a little bit too light. Uh, it is not as moisturizing as it says it is. Dad is arriving tomorrow and I am cooking soup over here. So we have uh, the bouillon that's getting ready. Um, I have the carrots, I have the onion, some cabbage. Um, then we have, uh, I forgot the name, uh, beetroot. So I'm only going to use uh, half of this beetroot and the rest I think I'm going to make some salad with uh, mayonnaise and garlic and it's going to be freaking amazing because um, it's quite a lot, you know, we still have cabbage to go so uh, this will be enough in my opinion. So I already have the meat out, I put uh, all of these veggies inside. Um, borscht so it's uh, you know coming together now I only had to cut um, the cabbage but uh, I don't need the, um, the entire thing I only need a thin slice of it I also need to you know cut the meat well try to cut some meat and put it inside as well and um, everything will be ready also I'm thinking of putting a little bit of potatoes but I'm not sure I feel like at this point it's kind of late but uh, maybe I can put a couple if I cut them in you know little cubes or something this way they'll cook faster because usually potatoes take ages to, to cook um, especially in soups so I completely forgot about them I don't know but it's currently 8 30 I put Adele to sleep she now goes to sleep at around 7 30 and then it takes approximately an hour for her to be fully asleep like the first time she falls asleep within uh 20 30 minutes 
I leave and then she starts crying in about 15 minutes and then I go back, I nurse her a little bit longer and um, then she falls asleep uh, for the night. So it is currently 8.30. As I said before, I'm just finishing uh, cooking the soup now. Um, my dad is arriving tomorrow. So I've been uh, really busy around the apartment. Today I have no makeup on. I didn't even brush my hair after the shower. Hopefully when my dad arrives, um, we'll go out more and we'll do other things. Maybe if he, if he wants to go shopping, uh, we can go shopping together and I can, uh, you know, vlog a little bit of that as well. But we'll see. Uh, he's coming for work, so he'll be pretty busy anyway. But he's coming for um, almost a week, uh, which still gives us some time to spend together and uh, um, it should be really fun. Unfortunately, my mom couldn't come because my little brother has school and so he also couldn't come uh, but next time I guess next time hi everyone happy Wednesday my dad is coming very soon tonight in a few hours and uh, I still have to do a little bit of cleaning here and there while baby's asleep and yesterday I was actually posting a few stories by the way happy 1st of February um, last month of winter <laughs> it's almost over I just don't like winter so much i don't know why it's just so cold and disgusting and it's just very hard even for us uh, trying to go out for a walk it takes hours to get ready for everybody you know because it's just layers and layers and layers of clothes and it takes such a long time and uh, yesterday since it was the last day of uh, january i wanted to reflect back and see um what i accomplished um and uh, point out uh, my wins and uh, the achievements um. and so i wanted to see um what exactly I did in the month of January, um, how many goals I've achieved uh, that I've set for myself for 2023. And it was nice to look back at, you know, I, um, I don't uh, have a gratitude journal um, because, I don't know, you have to have a habit to do it every single night or every single morning. Mm, I don't have that habit and uh, it's, uh, you know, it's very difficult to um, create a habit. <laughs> so uh, instead of uh, doing that, I have decided to just um, at the end of each month to create stories talking about my achievements of the month, um, the little wins, um, the goals that I accomplished in that month. And uh, it will be very interesting to then look back um, at the end of the year to see uh, whether or not I have accomplished everything I wanted um, during the year and uh, um, this will be my kind of gratitude journal because of course I am very grateful for every little thing and I was only including uh, professional stuff but you know apart from that I'm just very grateful for um, the health of my loved ones of my family I'm just grateful that uh, um, I could spend every single day of January with my little baby and with my husband. And I'm just grateful that my family came over, that uh, we spent an amazing time together. I'm grateful for all of these um, little things, you know, but uh, uh, on my Instagram, I just want to keep it, you know, professional. I don't want to include, oh, I'm happy that, uh, uh, you know, everybody's healthy. Of course, of course, I'm happy. Of course, I'm grateful for that. Um, I don't think... Uh, um, anyone should even question that <laughs> and also you know doing that it really kept me um, in this positive mindset and uh, it really made me want to accomplish even more the next month and that's why at the end I was like okay I'm gonna go manifest even greater things for myself for next month and uh, go to sleep but uh, that's really what I did mm, and I think it's important to visualize everything as if you already did something amazing as if it already happened to you um this is the way of thinking don't be stuck on the past failures uh, don't be stuck on uh, present failures or whatever you're going through uh just uh, keep thinking positive keep thinking of uh, how amazing life can feel if um, if you do this, if you accomplish that, you know, it completely changes your mindset, it completely changes your attitude um, towards everything you do. So yesterday was soup, today we're cooking beef. Um, the soup will be like the first dish, um, this is gonna be the main dish. Hi everyone, it is um, 
a beautiful Thursday. It is indeed a beautiful Thursday, but tonight was so insane because Adele woke up at 2 a.m. and she didn't sleep until 5 a.m., even 5.30 um we couldn't put her to sleep we tried both of us my husband and i but i don't know she wasn't even crying she was just you know enjoying herself talking and laughing it's just so weird we think that maybe her teeth are growing i don't know maybe that's um what is bothering her and that's why she um, doesn't really sleep well at night anymore it's the third night when she wakes up in the middle of the night um, but before she would wake up at like 4 30 4 40 and um, she would stay up for about 10 15 minutes and then go back to sleep but uh, um, such thing never happened before that she didn't sleep for three hours in the middle of the night and today during the entire day whenever i try to put her to sleep i put her on the bed um and then she she wakes up you know she only wants to stay in my arms uh which is impossible you know because i have other things to do <laughs> so it's very tough but also my dad is here uh he came uh with uh somebody from work and um they all came uh, to have lunch uh here with us because i cooked uh, before my dad came as you saw in the the previous few days and uh it's uh you know difficult to juggle everything and uh, uh to host this many men <laughs> feed them and then uh clean everything after them with a little baby but uh, at the end adele slept for an hour we slept together because i was feeling so dead i passed out with her and then once i woke up i went to the kitchen to start cleaning up she woke up like five minutes later so she stayed with me and now she's playing uh, with her toys uh, i just finished ironing i already cleaned the kitchen so i'm still being a housewife you know i have a presentation to finish and i've started it i did um i think about five six slides i need to choose the pictures and everything so it's still a lot of uh, work to do but at least i know what i'm gonna say I'm fully ready for that here's by the way all of the clothes that are now too small for adele well that's not everything it's just from uh, two to three months um it's so sad to see them go you know like for example this dress she only wore once for the new years and uh, i posted a picture on instagram and then i remember she was wearing this during winter and all of her onesies it's just oh so sad her face changed completely in like two weeks she looks like a different adele now <laughs> she doesn't even look like herself which is so bizarre but it's so exciting at the same time uh anyway i'm gonna go back to adele entertain her for a little bit and then it's nap time again third nap of the day and uh, i'll talk to you guys a bit later she's still playing but i was basically ironing all of this needs uh, that are for six months and i think uh, she can already start uh, using them a little bit so i washed everything and it's all so cute and pretty i mean these dresses oh she's gonna be so pretty even at home even if she stays at home and wears this kind of outfits i think it's still nice um you know than um, having her pjs all day <laughs> Hi everyone, happy Friday. I am feeling so stressed right now because I've been sitting at home with uh, baby Adele with no help at all because my dad is in town, he has some business to do and my husband's with him all the time and uh, which means I am home alone with baby Adele and she needs a lot of attention right now. She just wants to play and cuddle and uh, now uh, for a few days already she refuses to sleep alone she only wants to um, stay with me in the arms <laughs> so at night she wasn't sleeping all that well she woke up at 4 40 um then she fell asleep then she woke up at 6 then she woke up at 7 40 and um at the end we slept until 10 a.m this morning um so you know i got ready did uh, all my chores cleaned the kitchen after everybody had breakfast and uh, by the time I did everything she already wanted to go to nap and uh, she fell asleep I was hoping that she would sleep by herself I left and in like five minutes she woke up <laughs> crying so I've decided to lay with her and uh, she was sleeping for three hours so she woke up at around 
so that was like 11 30 and she woke up at 2 30 so she took a very very long nap um you know thank goodness i can do some things on my phone so um i was doing my um, instagram assignments because i had to create new feeds um uh, now choosing the color palette that i want to go for and uh, so i could do that and watch the lesson uh, I could do other little things on the phone, but uh, not really much at all because I only had one hand available. She was sleeping right here on the other one. So my husband came back home um, for like an hour, an hour and a half. Uh, we had lunch together. Uh, he's now playing with Adele for a little bit. So I get to, you know, relax and do uh, some things by myself or myself, <laughs> but he needs to leave a bit earlier than i thought he would so uh, i don't know tomorrow is the day of the presentation of my speech and the thing is the presentation is still not done and i'm just i'm just stressing out so bad right now because of this um i hate being very close to the deadline it makes me feel so nervous and at the same time there is nothing really i can do so maybe since adele slept um for quite a bit um i'm gonna let her play in her little castle and i'll just take my ipad and i will stay on the ipad finishing the presentation thank god i've started it a little bit but now i need to go through pinterest maybe uh, my own pictures to add uh, to the presentation so it looks uh, pretty and all i'm doing mine on canva by the way i have canva pro and it's the best freaking thing ever because you can do so many amazing things there they have amazing templates they just the library of pictures and uh, little animations and graphics they just have so much of everything you can literally create whatever you want it's just you know the sky's the limit uh so i think i'm gonna work on the presentation yeah with baby Adele um, and uh, what else the vlog is um, coming out on Sunday already I haven't started editing it I have no idea if I have uh, enough footage to edit because I feel like um, I haven't done uh, much really we stayed home most of the time and I was just busy at home before I was busy getting ready for my dad's arrival now I'm just staying with baby Adele all the time and and uh, um, if you are the only person to take care of the baby, she takes up a lot of the time, a lot of my free time, like all of my free time right now. I really honestly do not have a single minute by myself, not even in the bathroom. I'm sorry, but um, it's the truth. She's just always with me. Uh, so I wish I could show you more. I wish I could tell you more i wish i had a little bit more free time like i did last week for example because i could leave her with my husband he was uh, more or less free freer than uh, this week but uh, yes this week has been kind of hectic that's why my vlog is uh, i don't know i don't know and that's why me myself i'm not feeling all that um uh, productive to be honest i'm truly feeling like a stay-at-home mom right now doing all the all the wifey chores at home because uh, all i do is uh wash dishes clean up cook and uh, wash the baby and that's pretty much it that's my entire you know daily routine on repeat every single day this week but i'm so happy that tomorrow nobody has to work I have my presentation i'm just super excited to meet all the ladies and um to talk to them you know i really know what i'm gonna say and everything i just have to prepare everything and then we're gonna spend some time in town maybe we'll uh, do some shopping i don't know have lunch in town we'll see i'm not quite sure but i will try to vlog more tomorrow and also i think the new collection in chanel launched quite recently my essay sent me a few pictures of the new bags that they have but she's, she only sent me the bags that i would be interested in i'm gonna put the pictures here but i really love the new top handle um because the handle has two colors that's fun and uh, she also sent me the mini bags she also sent me another handbag in black and white uh, but I have no idea what the size is because when I asked for the price, she said it's uh, 3,500 something, which is not a lot for 
a full size bag like it's super cheap that's why i'm not sure what size is it really i have no idea but maybe if i have time i could pass by chanel and maybe vlog a little bit there and show you what they have i don't need anything really uh but yeah yeah that's so weird to say that i don't need anything i don't even want to look at anything to be honest because uh right now at this point i feel like i have everything I, and i want to focus on what i have right now and to focus on my work and i want to start creating content with everything that i have and maybe in a month and two months i'll be ready to start uh, buying again but i feel like i need this uh you know dry february um so yeah but uh anyway i'm gonna uh look for my ipad because i have no idea where it is and i'm gonna start doing the presentation oh, i really hope i'll be done by tonight and tonight um, i need to send it over so they can prepare everything at the hotel where the event uh, is gonna be and uh yeah i'm just so freaking excited everything is so exciting and um, i cannot wait to be honest i was feeling nervous and i mentioned that on um, instagram as well but at this point i'm just way too excited to uh, do this to meet all the new ladies to you know talk about style and fashion a little bit um, because i feel like i never do on my youtube channel i always want to start doing that but um now i really don't have a lot of time with unboxings it's uh first of all i don't have to write script i don't have to you know look for information i don't have to do any of that any research i just do you know unbox and that's it and it's also very easy to edit these types of videos but with the styling videos if i want to try everything on me it's going to take a lot of time to change to clean afterwards to combine like the looks to put the looks together and everything even if i want to create expert videos for example um that takes a long time as well a lot of research and uh, i have to um you know find uh, the right pictures to show you as examples and everything and that's really just so much work and i wish i had the time maybe soon i will hopefully we'll see if uh, we get help um that would be amazing and if um i have a little bit more time free time in my hands that would be freaking incredible i would love to start that again i'm on my way currently all dressed up as you can see wearing my new handbag and i'm so excited i'm not even nervous anymore at this point i'm just very 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 excited and uh, i'm kind of late for the meetup part but it's okay i'll be on time for my part so that's good Okay, I'm already here and uh, we are about to start. By the way, I don't think I ever mentioned this, but recently I've been uh, really loving the um, Bulgari Serpenti watch. I think they're so nice, but I don't know if I like the double bangle or the single one, like the one on the top. The single one is quite nice uh, with mixed metals and uh, with diamonds. So um, this one's super duper. I finished with the event but recently passed by home, picked up Adele, my dad, my husband, we are now in town. Uh, they went to Dior to pick up uh, something for my mom and then we'll go grab uh, a bite. So we're gonna go to Wine and Beef and I'm just so excited. I'm feeling so hungry and I really want to drink some Coke because I've been talking for such a long time non-stop that I'm feeling very very thirsty right now. Mm, but it went quite well. Of course, I forgot a few things that I wanted to talk about, stupid me, but I still managed to um, continue talking without awkward pauses, so that was nice, and uh, we had a little moment for uh, Q&A, and uh, everybody was so nice, all the ladies, they were so beautiful, so stylish, um, I'm, I'm amazed, you know, it's such a wonderful community that uh, um, the host is building, 
um, I was truly, truly impressed. Um, but yeah, it's quite windy outside. That's why I'm standing here in this uh, passage. Can you see? Uh, trying to hide from, from the wind because I'm quite cold already. back home now about to bath Adele um, but we didn't go shopping as I expected we would because I finished quite late and then you know by the time I got home we got ready I got Adele ready uh, we went to uh, to the restaurant everything was closed already and we also wanted to go for a walk but um, the wind came back and it's so freaking cold outside to walk uh, we were not uh, prepared for the weather at all because it says 10 degrees but when and it's uh, super windy and the wind is really winter wind you know a really cold one it's um, uh, it feels um, a lot colder that's why uh, we wanted to go for a walk but we have decided to get back home because we were um, literally freezing all of us except Adele <laughs> she was really really warm I'm gonna go clean up the kitchen uh, since the morning oh we're gonna bath Adele first, put her to sleep, then I'm gonna clean the kitchen, uh, maybe have some tea and uh, wrap it up for today. I'm so tired and my eye, this eye is just so red on the inside since yesterday and it doesn't go away. So I really need to get some sleep and I'm gonna start editing this vlog as soon as I can and uh, I'll see you guys.